Michaela and Darren here to show you the proper application of Rapid Mask. All right, thank you. Well, here I'm going to show you now how to apply the film on a compound curved surface as well as on a uh, flat mirror tile. So, as you can see in the last two videos, we did discuss how to make the film and what to look for. So, here's the two pieces we're going to do right now. We have a, a photopositive which was exposed to UV light for 90 seconds, and you have your ready-made stencil. Okay, so that's made in 90 seconds, no water. The other stencil is a negative. Now, don't get these confused, because with wrap mask, everything clear is always gonna sandblast, regardless if it's a photo etch or a standard line art etch. All right, so everything clear is gonna blast. So during that exposure, there's your negative, there's your full ready-made stencil. Okay, now I'm going to apply each of these onto a different surface, and there's a couple of tricks involved. One is have a handy piece of tape. Uh, this is a tremendous easy way to get the slip sheet off on the film. So what I'm going to do here, Michaela, is grab the very edge, like that, a little tag, and then peel. See how easy that is to get that slip sheet off? That's slick, Darren. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty neat myself. Now, the next part of this is I'm going to apply this to the curved surface. Now, you can see on this wine glass, it's called a compound curve because it's got curves going east to west and north to south. That is a compound curve. So, a lot of people tend to make their images smaller or they'll uh, put the images more in the center to make it so they don't do, uh, you know, fuss with it too much. But, I'm going to show you a trick. So, when you apply the film, Okay, it's repositionable, all right? So you put it down, you can remove it, and put it down again, okay? Now, it's really simple. You gotta be a half inch below the lip line, and you know, like a registration line or whatever. But I wanna show you how to apply it. So you take your thumb, and all you gotta do is trace the lettering. It's your thumb, like that. Okay, so it's really good for like monograms. We're doing somebody's name or date. All you're doing is pushing all the air away from your membrane that's going to blast. Okay, all these little wrinkles out here, I don't care about. Okay, they're out there. I'm, I'm just going to completely ignore them because when I blast it, I'm going to just follow the same line that my thumb followed. Okay, so you got to get one edge started to get the carrier off. And again, grab the piece of tape, grab the edge. One sec here. Go to the very edge again and peel on the carrier. Okay. And why don't we care about the wrinkles, Darren? Um, great question. When you blast wrap mask, everything that's dark is going to blast away. So if you don't see a break in that membrane, there's no wrinkle. Okay. With the washout developing films that we make, um, if the membrane has a, a wrinkle, which is because it's very thin and pliable, you got to be careful. So you got to kind of press down on the wrinkles more often. But since my membrane is all intact, I don't need to worry about wrinkles, okay? So you got a nice clean image. Out here, I'll just kind of press down it, just make it feel better. And then the final step is to tape. So take your masking tape, apply it to that. <clears throat> Grab the bottom. The one thing, you may or may not notice on the camera, Michaela, is, is what are you noticing when I'm applying the tape? Am I being aggressive on it? Am I going to be pushing down on it really hard and make it look nice and pretty? No, you're not going to see that from me. And that's because all you have to do is make sure the tape is hinged on the film itself, and it's not going to cause any issues. Okay? You'll have a lot harder time taking off the, the mask if you push down the tape. Right. All the way around then the glass, right? Yeah, exactly. They're going to be fussing with taking the tape off, which is unnecessary. So keep it nice and loose, hand loose, whatever you got to do to remember that. So that's a ready-made stencil for sound blasting. Now, the other one I want to show you is the half tone. Um, same little trick. Okay. We're going to take a piece of tape, remove the slip sheet. Okay. And then we're going to put it on our mirror tile. You're pretty good at that, Darren. Oh, thank you. A couple years of practice. 
All right, so I'm going to put that down. Now, again, it's repositionable if I put it on incorrectly. You can move it around too a little bit. Now in our test kit, it comes with a squeegee, otherwise we do provide these separately. Normally I have it on my jig, called the smart jig. It's a fancy little piece of equipment there. Yeah, I might say. And then what you're gonna do with the squeegee is start in the middle, and you're working away at the edge. Middle to the edge. Okay, that's how you remove air behind the film. If you start at one edge and work your way to the other, you'd have to do it a different method, um, called the hinge method. But in this case, I would always recommend start in the middle, go to the edge. Okay, simple as that. Now I'll get the same as the previous one. We gotta remove the carrier sheet, which all of our films have, whether it's washout developing film or the dry film wrap mask. So we take this and remove the carrier. Okay. Now you'll see on the smart jig unit, I have what we call a wire wheel. Okay. If you are curious what this is for, is if you look at the stencil, um, you know, even if I did this for 20 years, it's really, and that eyes like a 18 year old, uh, you know, it's hard to see if there's any bubbles in there because it's a very thin film, right? So it may create a few bubbles that you may not see with the naked eye. So we have this little device that helps, um, you just run this across like that, that perforates every little air bubble in that mask. And the reason why you don't want air bubbles in there is because an air bubble could pop and it creates a big white blob in your half tone, which doesn't look very good, right? So this little wire wheel saves a lot of time. Um, I'm not having to look at it through an inspection light or anything like that. I rely on my wire wheel and that's all you have to do. So very simple. Final steps, you're gonna run the tape again across. Again, you're hinging on the edges. Make sure you don't cover up your design so your border on your film is critical at this point. On a half tone, we did do a quarter inch border. I do recommend maybe a half inch border so you don't have to be so careful applying the tape on the edge. But again, it depends on your preference. Um, so you can see, I got my applied half tone. And again, the same rule applies. You may want to just, so it's not so sticky in your machine, in your hands. Just going to go like that. So here's your two pieces ready to be sandblasted. Excellent, Darren. Well, everyone out there, stay tuned for our next video on how to sandblast these substrates that Darren has taped up here. Thanks, Darren.